Let's jam our hands together for Jesus. If you are clapping for Jesus, make it louder. We worship the name of the Lord. Thank you, Father. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise God. Hallelujah. Praise God. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. Praise God. Amen. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. Praise God. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. Praise God. To appreciate your name. You are the greatest. You are the highest. You are the deepest. You are the widest. You are the most holy. Heaven cannot contain you. You made the world your full stool. You are the one that feels all in all. You are our maker. You are our friend. You are our savior. You are our redeemer. You are our healer. We worship your name. You are the one from the beginning. You are the way, the truth, and the life. You are the one who has all the power. We worship and we adore you. We give you glory. We give you honor. Please accept our thanks in the name of Jesus. We are here today, Lord, not to see any man, but to see the God of the man. We are here today on heaven mandates. We pray that heaven will back us up. Whatsoever shall be done in this house today, Holy Spirit divine, take over in the name of Jesus. Everyone present in this inauguration service of Fresh Air Parish, we ask that fresh air of the Holy Spirit we blow upon your life, we blow upon your health, we blow upon your businesses. Everything you desire, the Lord will deliver it to you. It doesn't matter where you are at the moment. You will end up at the top. It doesn't matter where you stay at the, at, the, at the present moment. You will end up in the palace. The Lord will fight your battle. God's glory will be upon your life. In the name of Jesus. I pray that you will take possession of my mouth. My head and my heart. That what I will say today. My accent will not block it. My idiosyncrasies of how I speak will not block it. Amen. No one will be here and go back the same in the name of Jesus. Amen. Everyone that is caused sick, whether minor or major, receive your healing in the name of Jesus. Amen. Whatsoever is the need in your life, may the Lord exceed it and give it to you in the name of Jesus. Amen. I don't know the battle you are fighting, but God of heaven will fight your battle. God will establish you. This house and the people of God, God of heaven will give you gifts. Gifts that money cannot buy. The more that money can buy, God will give you money. In life and destiny, you will reign. Father, at the end of this service, may we be able to praise your name. It's in your name. We inaugurate fresh air parish. In the name of God the Father. Amen. In the name of God the Son. Amen. In the name of God the Holy Spirit. Amen. We inaugurate this parish, fresh air parish. In the name of God the Father. Amen. In the name of God the Son. Amen. In the name of God the Holy Spirit. Amen. We inaugurate this parish, fresh air parish. In the name of God the Father. Amen. In the name of God the Son. In the name of God, the Holy Spirit. Amen. We pray that every worshiper of, in this particular parish, they will receive solution to all their problems. Amen. You will connect them to greatness. Amen. God's glory will manifest in their life. Amen. 
even those of you who are witnessing the inauguration, great and mighty things will happen in your life. God will make way for you where there is no way. So shall it be. We will finish on earth, we will finish where? We will make it to the kingdom of heaven. Thank you, precious Father. And all the people we work in this parish, please anoint them fresh and get the glory to yourself. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. And let the church shout a big amen. amen. Shout hallelujah. hallelujah. Please take your seat and ask and uh, talk to your neighbor or just tell them, join the unstoppable company. Okay, let me say this way. Join the unstoppable champion. Ask your neighbor for me, are you part of the unstoppable champion? God will bless you in the name of Jesus. Let me take time to appreciate the man of God, Pastor Sam Kana, and Mommy Sam Kana. Thank you for taking care of us. I enjoy my stay. Each time I come around you, I see solidity, I see integrity, I see commitment. I see a man who never said die, who has given up everything to be able to focus on the cross of Christ. In Psalm 34, verse 5, Psalm 34, verse 5, the Bible said, they look unto him, they were lighting, their faces were not ashamed. You will not be ashamed in that. It doesn't matter what happened in life, you will find yourself at the top. What it is called problem today will become a promotion for you. Amen. Your test will become testimony. Amen. Your frustration will become felicitation. Amen. Your pain will become gain. Amen. Every door you knock in life, several doors shall be opened unto you. Amen. You will move from glory to glory. Amen. You will not be abandoned. Amen. You will not be forsaken. Amen. And it shall be well with you. Amen. And everyone that say amen, get double of that prayer. Amen. Genesis chapter 1, verse 26 to 28. Genesis chapter 1, verses 26 to 28. And God said, let us make man in our image. I'm reading from original King James. And after our likeness. And let them have dominion over the fish of the sea and over the fowl of the air and over the cattle and over all the earth and over every creepy thing that creepeth upon the earth. So God created man in his own image. The image of God created him. Male, female created he them. And God blessed them. And God said to, unto them, be fruitful, multiply, and replenish the earth and subdue it. And have dominion over the fish of the sea and over the fowl of the air and over every living thing that moveth on the earth. May the Lord bless the reading and hearing of the world. Amen. Join the unstoppable champion. Join the unstoppable champions. The original intention of God for everyone that came to the planet Earth was to rule like him. The son of God is a God. Because the son of a lion, a lion cannot give birth to a dog. The son of a dog is a dog. The son of a, a big God is a God. Some people were arguing with Jesus Christ. And he told them in John chapter 10 verse 34. John chapter 10 verse 34. He said, don't you read in your scripture that he made them God. So the intention of God for you and me is to be a champion. Irrepressible champion. Nobody champion. The very first word that proceeded a man when he created them in verse 28 and God blessed I'm not an Englishman I came from West Africa Nigeria 
But the word blessed, if those who taught us Queenies or Kinglish English, they are right. Bless me, you are, it is documented in the past tense of the word of God. Irreversible blessings. Blessed. So, the intention of God is for you to be a king, not a, not a subject. Because in Revelation chapter 5, verse 10, Revelation 5, 10, he said he make us kings unto him. In 2 Peter, I mean 1 Peter 2, 9. 1 Peter 2, 9. The Bible said we are royal priesthood. So, the intention of God is very clear. In Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 1 and 13, Deuteronomy chapter 28, 1 and 13, the Bible said, and it shall come to pass, look at it, if you hearken diligently to the voice, not just hearken, you hearken diligently to the voice of the Lord to observe. And the Lord said, I will set thee above, above the nations. Verse 13 said, look at what verse 13 said. 28, 13. 28, 13. What did he say? And God shall make thee the head and not the tail. Amen. Join the unstoppable champion. Who are the unstoppable champion? Seven things, quickly, I won't discuss. Who are the unstoppable champion? Number one, there are people who know their class. They know their class and they operate in that class. In 1 Peter 2 9, I quoted earlier on. 1 Peter 2 9, I quoted earlier on. The Bible said, But ye, if you read, I don't know whether those at the engine room they are, they have they have other translation. Because when you are interpreting ye, you may think he's talking to somebody else. Now give me another translation, maybe common English Bible or anything. Now look at it. But you, <laughs> no, I don't like this one. But it's okay, it's okay. For you are, now, now, but you are a chosen generation a royal priesthood, a holy nation, is so special people. <laughs> when I look at that, I say, hey, this small me. And it's applicable to everyone that is born again. The world said, in that second Corinthians 5, 17, if therefore any man is in Christ, is a new creature. All things are passed away. In John chapter 1 verse 12, John chapter 1 verse 12, he said, as many as believe him, he gave them power. And in Luke 10, 19, Luke 10, 19, he said, behold, I give unto you power. Those who know their class, we are not powerless. You are a special breed. Your color, your accent, where you walk, how you do, what you do in material. After all, Joseph, a star, was in the Potiphar house. And he was mopping the floor, cleaning the toilet, washing the, doing the dirty job. Come on, house boy. But when the time appointed came, he was moved from prison to the palace. You must know your class. I have never allowed any people to talk me down. Even when I'm low, I know that's not where I belong. Even Jesus, the Savior was born in the manger. Who are the unstoppable champion number two? Those who are willing to stand out in the midst of corrupt generation. They are willing to stand out in the midst of corrupt generation. The, 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 the generation we live is a very corrupt one. But they are willing to stand out not to compromise. You have only one life. No one will help you to live the life. 
It doesn't matter how much you love your wife, your husband. He can't eat for you. She can't eat for you. It doesn't matter how you love your husband or your wife. You say, please, I am feeling to go to the restroom. I don't know what to call it here. Can you go to the restroom for me? You are the owner of your life. I know God owns it, but you have a major part to play. You need to be able to stand out in your generation. In Hebrews chapter 11, verse 7, Hebrews 11, 7, Noah, in the midst of corrupt generation, stood out. He stood out. Put it for us, thank you. Now we can go back to original King James. Yeah, it's okay. It's okay. Well, I want to make a point. Now, by faith, Noah, what, Noah being warned of God, of the thing, not seen, moved. He moved by faith. And he was spared. Number three, who are those people? They are, they are people who are willing to do the will of God at all costs. I'm talking about who are the unstoppable champion. Number three, there are people willing to do the will of God at all costs. They are willing to be called stupid, foolish. In Genesis chapter 12, Genesis chapter 12, reading from verses 1 and 3, 1 to 3. One day Abraham stood and met his family and said, Daddy, Mommy, God is calling me to go to a land. And they ask him, which land? I don't know. Which way? I don't know. They say, Abraham, something has gone kanky. You are mad. You are mad. We are talking about champion who are willing to do the will of God. But he was willing to follow the Lord. God is calling you to greatness. Serving God does not demote people. Does not reduce from, does not reduce people. Serving God promotes you. God is a lifter. God is above. And God is the most high. And if he call you to be his son, his daughter, you cannot be the most low. The son of most high cannot be the most low. Abraham was willing to follow God. When he didn't know the way, he was following him. Not everything in Christendom you understand. Because it is by faith. Faith is the substance of the thing you hope for. The evidence of the nothing. Hebrews chapter, chapter 11 verse 1. Hebrews 11 1. In 2 Corinthians 5 7. 2 Corinthians 5 7. We walk by faith and not by sight. That's what it is. People are willing. Number four, who are the people that can join the unstoppable champion of, P, of a company or unstoppable champion? They are people who are prepared to defend the interest of God at the risk of their own life. They are willing to stand for God even when they are going to die for it. <laughs> Jesus was talking to his disciple. Anyone who wants to save his life will lose it. But if you want to lose your life, God will preserve it. See this. In 1 Samuel chapter 17. 1 Samuel 17. 32. Let me see 32. Look at it. David says something that these people. Look. A young man. Now the story of 1 Samuel 17, 32, I mean 17, 1 Samuel 17, is the story of Goliath and David. We learned him way, way back in the primary school. Now, everybody was running from Goliath. But a young man of 17 years, by the definition of where I came from, is not mature enough. He's still a teenager. But the boy went to the field to go and give food. 
Daddy said, please, when you see them fighting battle, run. Run. When you see the battle, run. Bring home my food. But if there is no battle, give your brother food and leave. When they got there, he saw Goliath. He cannot dare the blasphemy. He cannot dare people speaking against his God. He told King Saul, I, David, although a young man, a teenage boy, I don't know how to handle weapon, only sting, but I will go and kill him. Let no man's heart fail because of him. <laughs> Thy servant will go and fight this Philistine. And David, oh, give me 45. If I stop here, it's okay for me because I have ta targeted my own self. Now, give me 45. Now, look at it. A boy who was only skilled. I don't know whether you have, you know the meaning of sling. Sling. Shh. Shh. That's the way we do it in our place. Or do it like this. Shoom. Then David said to Goliath, that's Philippine. Yeah, the Philistine. Philistine. Thou comest to me with a sword and with a spear and with shield. But I come to thee in the name of the Lord of hosts, the God of the armies of Israel, whom thou defilest. Give me the next verse, please. Come on. This day will the Lord deliver you to my heart. And I will smit thee and take thy head off from thee. And I will give the carcasses of the host of Philistine. This day unto the power of the earth, unto the wild beasts of the earth. And the earth shall know that there is a God in Israel. I ask myself, somebody with a sling was talking about cutting off the head. Will he cut it with ordinary hand? But his eyes of faith has seen it. Once your eyes of faith can capture it. You are, you are set. He said today, I will on the affirmative, on the positive side, I will. Was he able to do it? <laughs> roll it, roll it. If you can see where he threw the sling and he took the sword of Goliath to kill Goliath. Oh, roll it. I will lay hand on you. Roll it. And it came to pass when the Philistine arose. Yeah, he had there. He said, Thank you. And David put his hand in his pocket and took then a stone and slung it and smote the Philistine in his forehead. And the stone sunk. Come on. You are right. You are right. And the stone sunk into his forehead. And he fell upon his face to the earth. Next one. And next one. <laughs> so David prevailed over Philistine with a sling and with a stone. And smote the Philistine and slew him. But there was no sword. Give me the other verse. And he took his own sword. Look, he took the sword of the enemy and what he said he can do he did it you may not have the instrument but somebody has it God will make sure you are able to use the instrument I'm talking about champions he cut off his head I don't know what you are going through I don't know what is, what is going through you but I came on this holy altar of the fresh air today. The God of victory shall give you victory in the name of Jesus. Amen. Number, what are we? Number five. The, those who can join the champion are those people 
who are willing to satisfy the desire of their master. The desire of their master. Jesus is our master. He's the Lord of the universe. He's the Lord of lords, the king of kings. The word says in, in the book of John chapter 1 verse 1, in the beginning was the word, the word was the God, the word was God. And when you read verse 3, verse 3 say, you can roll it down. All things were made by him. And without him was not anything made that was made. In verse 14, John 1 14, he became flesh and dwelt among us. We beheld his glory. Glory as the only begotten son from the Father, full of grace and truth. And in John 14, verse 6, John 14, 6, the word says, Jesus himself said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. Those who can become champions are the people who are willing to satisfy Jesus, willing to satisfy God. In second Samuel chapter 23, reading from verse 13 to 19, of second Samuel chapter 23, 13 to 19. Now, the Bible said three of the mighty men, the army of David, they came to him. He was in a hole. The people said, ah, where is the captain David? They went looking for him. And they heard that David was in the hole. They navigate their way to the place. When they got there, David didn't say welcome. When I came into this country, your pastor came and met with me. Welcome. And the wife. And the team. Oh, they said, we'll have carry bouquet. But pardon us. We will do it some other time. But where those people? When they got, when they got there, David is said, Welcome. He said, Oh, that somebody will give him water. I am in Amman, Jordan, but I want the water from a canoe in Nigeria. Their spiritual antenna was very sensitive to pick signals. They are like the children of Ezekiel. Who know what the Lord is about to do? They left their master immediately. Sir, give me verse 19. Come on, where are you? Give me 17 first before this one. 17. They brought the water. They navigate through thick and thin. They brought the water to David. The man of God said, ah, this is blood. And he said, be far from me, O Lord, that I should do this. Is not this the blood of the men that went to jeopardy of their lives? Therefore, he would not drink it. He poured it. God knows your cry and weeping. He knows that it's not convenient to come to church on Thursday and Friday and you will still do your work under heavy body. All see God. They call him you know Omini signs. Is omni present, omni science, omni potent. The omni science God, all see God. He see your tears, your secret tears, secret oppression. He look at you when you are depressed. He knows that problem. David said, mm, "This is the blood 
of people that went in jeopardy of their life. He will not drink it. He pour it to the Lord. God knows the sacrifice. He knows what you are going through. It's not easy to part with money. But it's something that is a commandment from God that you have to give. He knows. Number one, what are we? Because I said seven. I don't want to exceed seven. Okay. Number six. They are determined to face trial to protect the integrity of God in their life. They are not willing to bow. They are not willing to bow. Excuse me, sir and ma. Anyone who wants to matter for God, you will come to a junction in your life you have to determine. The Bible talks about Daniel. Daniel chapter 1 verse 8. Daniel 1 8. Daniel decided. Give me that word. Proposed. This has been put into the past tense archive. It is not a matter of changing his decision. No. Purpose that he will not Hallelujah. Let somebody shout hallelujah. hallelujah. You can put it on. I don't mind. Let somebody shout hallelujah. hallelujah. Let somebody shout hallelujah. hallelujah. In the book of Daniel chapter 6, reading from verses 10 to 23, you don't need to read, I tell you the story. Daniel chapter 6, verses 10 to 23. Daniel, there was a very unholy un edict. That nobody must pray to any God for how many days? Come on, talk to me. You are a Bible student. Choir, are you singing alone? For, for a whole month. But Daniel determined, no, I cannot, um, I cannot observe this only on only a date. The Bible says he went to his house. Formerly, he will close the window and door when he's praying. But this time, he opened it. He was willing to go for it. The people who are watching him, they went and report. He has violated the edicts of media and partial that nobody must violate. He will go to the lion den. He was willing to go. Anyone who caught prey within those 30 days shall be put in lion there. He was willing to go. They captured him. The king was feeling for him. They threw him there. Ah. We serve the lion of the tribe of Judah. The son of a lion doesn't eat each other. When they threw lion into the den, oh, this is another lion. They started playing with him. And on the second day, the king said, Daniel! The king cannot sleep. But he was resting and enjoying with the lion. He said, no, none of, he, of them has hurt me. Oh, the lion, the king said, I think the lion is dead. All of you who accused Daniel, come, 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 come. There is a reward for you. All of them, they carry their wife and their children. And the king said, well, the lion, uh, my lion is dead. Can you see the man you threw it there yesterday? Please, go there. And the Bible said, before they got down, their bones are broken. You must be willing to stand for what you believe. Willing to stand for your conviction. Number seven, who are those who can join the unstoppable champion? Who are the unstoppable champion? They are courageous to confront all the unprogressive boasting of the enemy. 
They are courageous to confront the unprogressive crowd and challenge the boasting and pretentious of the of the people. First Kings 18, 21 to 38. First Kings 18, 21 to 38. Now listen to this. Verse 21. Give me verse 21. I'm sure I got it. Psalm 21. Come on. Elijah came unto all the people and said, How long without being between two opinions? If the Lord be God, follow him. But if Baal is Baal, follow him. And the people answered him in not a word. He now said, The God that answered by fire. God of Baal is the God of fire. But that day on Mount Carmel, he disappointed them. They call out fire. They were cutting themselves. <laughs> but that day, Elijah, sir, ma, if there is a fire incident, pastor, if there is a fire incident, what do we use to quench it? What is packaged in fire extinguisher? That day, the fire of Elijah killed water. Because he said, pour the sacrifice. They put it. Pour water. Pour water. Pour water. Until it begins to flow. And he called that fire. And fire leaked. Leaked the water. Who said God is not alive? He was among more than 400 prophets of Baal. Only one. But he was willing to stick his neck. How do I join the Unstoppable Company? Number one, you, know, you must be volunteer. Volunteer to be recruited. Volunteer to be recruited. Matthew chapter 11 verse 28. Matthew eleven twenty eight 28 says, Come unto me, all you that are labor and every lady. How do I join? Surrender to the master's instruction and be obedient. You must surrender to master's instruction and be obedient. Isaiah chapter 1 verse 18. Isaiah 1 18, if you are willing and obedient, you will eat the fruit of the land. How do I join? Believe all his promises. That's number three. Proverbs 8.33 Proverbs 8.33 Hearken unto me and apply your heart. Who can join that group of champions? Those who will trust the weapon that God has given to them. That be Pastor was talking about bring your weapon. Bible is your weapon. The word said in Isaiah 48, Isaiah 48, grass wither, flower fade. The word of our God Hallelujah. shall stand forevermore. In Psalm 1989, Psalm 1989, forever, oh God, your word is settled. Trust the weapon. Somebody came many years ago and said, I will deal with you. I told them, I don't have any strength or power, but I have the name of Jesus. As you are going out, if your car didn't somersault or have accident, something will happen to you. But if you get to your house, I think God has not called me. He has accident on the way, and he said, there is a wizard in redeemed church there. Take me to him. He's the one who caused me. I said, I didn't cause you. You are the one who caused it. What you said to me, eat that they get a pit, we fall into it. You should know what the book says. That's a weapon. Number five. Finish so that I can finish. Call on him as your ally. Whenever you need help, there's a captain that can help you. Psalm 121, verse 1 and 2. Verse 121, 1 and 2. He said, look at it. I will lift up my eyes unto the hill. 
We are coming down my hair. My hair coming from my eyelid. The Lord who made the heaven and the earth. Psalm 125, 1 and 2. Psalm 125, let me see that. Oh, come on, where is this guy? Look at it. They that trust in the Lord shall be like now, what is, what is my that? That cannot be removed. Amen. What are the benefits of being a champion? You become invulnerable. You are not conquerable. You know why? First John 4-4. Four, four. First John 4-4. Four, four. He said, yeah, I've got little children. Ye have overcome them. For greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world. First John 5 4. First John 5 4. He said, This is the thing that conquer your faith. I've led that place. For whosoever is born of God overcome the world. You overcome. Number two, blessing. And I'll conclude with number three. Peace of mind. Peace and tranquility. I like that. In Isaiah chapter 36 verse 3. Put it for me. Isaiah 36 3. Come on, where is this guy? Did I call that? Isaiah 36? Give me John 14, 27. John 14, 27. What did I say? That's the master. Peace. Give me Psalm 37, verse 7. Verse 37, verse 7. Psalm 37, 37. Thirty-seven, thirty-seven. Anyone who is a champion, you have peace and tranquility. And lastly, when you join the champion, your world becomes loaded with authority. Ecclesiastes 8.4 Ecclesiastes 8.4 Where you have the word of the king, there is authority. Look at this. Look at this. Job 22-28. Job 22-28. He said, please give me, don't give me, uh, no, give me another translation. Thou shalt also give me another translation now. Okay. Thou shalt also decree a thing. Now, that's where you, this one is better. You will also decree a thing and it be established for you and light. Do you want to join the champion? Yeah. Rise up with me. I want you to pray and say, God, make me your champion. God of heaven can do anything. Don't expect, don't expect any other thing. You have the word. Lord, make me your champion. I want my word to be buried in. Oh God of heaven, I want to be your champion. Only one minute you have. Only one minute you have. Only one minute you have. Make me your champion. Make me your champion. I determine to enroll in the school of the champions. Make me one. 
Make me your champion, my father. <laughs> oh, Shukala Brota has. Make me your champion, Lord. Make me your champion. My father, make me your champion. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name we pray. I'm about to pray, please. But if you know that you are not free from sin, I'm not calling anybody out. All I need is to put your hand on your chest. You know, I didn't say you don't come, you don't go to church. But the more church you go, the more sinful you become. You are not free from the entanglement of sin. Not that you want to do it, but somehow you find yourself in it. I want to pray with you. Lord, I lift up my hand on this holy altar. You know the intent of the heart. All the people that put their hand on their chest, deliver them. Please restore them to the place of sonship and daughterhood. I pray from today, let their sins that were many be forgiven them. Remove little, little foxes that destroy their vine in the name of Jesus. Let their name go back into the book of God from today. Give them power to function as sons and daughters. And from this day onward, let the power of God overshadow them. Everyone say amen. Iniquity will not be found in your time. And every miracle, all the people in this house, actual and people virtual, all the blessings, all the blessings that they are expecting from you, deliver it to them in Jesus name. Amen. Make everyone that is a part of this program, including our young children who didn't even understand what we are saying, make them champions in the name of Jesus. Amen. And Father, let this fresh air perish. Be a champion that produces champions. Amen. And let us finish strong and finish well. Amen. And let us make it to heaven. Amen. Jesus mighty name we pray. While you are still standing, I want to call those people who are going to be leader of this Fresh Air Parish. Just for one minute, I want to pray for them and uh, I will leave the mic for the pastor. Those who have been informed to be the people who will be holding forth before the substantive officer will come. Please come. And I want you to kneel before the altar. If you don't mind, please come. God bless you. Please come. Come, 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 come. Come, come, come. Don't kneel. You wait. Just sit. Just, okay, let me, that you, that I give everybody, send forth your hands towards them and pray. God, anoint them. God, just anoint them with fresh oil. None of them will be a victim. Glory of God will come over them. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Amen. We pray as corporate body. And I've laid hand on, on you. And since God called me into this ministry, I've never laid hand on any woman without result. May you have uncommon result. Amen. Uncommon progress. Amen. Anything you bind on the earth shall be bound in heaven. Amen. Anything you lose shall be losing in heaven. Amen. God will make you progressive. God will give you light. Amen. And as you shine the light of other people, your light will expand. Amen. All those who are witnessing today, their light will never go out. Amen. We will all make it to heaven. Amen. Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Congratulations. 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 God bless you. Let somebody shout hallelujah. Hallelujah.